Hi reception, welcome to your topic lesson for today. So yesterday you were with me and we were thinking about two different words, weren't we? There were two new words we looked at. Do you remember what they were? That's right, natural and man-made. And we talked about what those words mean. We talked about how a natural object was something or a natural material was something that we found in the world around us so that people didn't have to do anything to it. We just either used it as it was or we might dig it up from the ground, take it out and use it to make other things. So they weren't made in factories or by adding any chemicals to it. And then the opposite word was man-made. And we talked about man-made things were materials that don't exist on their own. They only exist if people um, do something, add things, mix them up, change them in some way. And we talked about things like how glass was man-made because Although glass was made from sand, you have to add things to it and then heat it up to make it um, turn into glass that we know, that we have around us in our world. And then we also talked about how sometimes things like, um, some things like wool, for example. Wool comes from a sheep, so that's natural. And even though we take the wool from the sheep, the wool we use to make things like gloves and jumpers don't really have anything added to it. They're not changed. They're just sort of... Um, twisted into the right sort of shape to use to do knitting with. So there are some things in our world that can be a bit confusing because we don't think they're natural and they are, or we think they're man-made and they end up not being sometimes. So what are we going to do today? Well, reception. I was thinking about those two words, natural and man-made, and I went on a bit of a hunt and I decided that I was gonna collect only natural things. And I've collected all those natural things I found. I put them on the table here. Do you think you could help me to check that everything in my collection is a natural object? You could. Are you going to be the teacher today? Wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to turn my screen down and I want you just to pause it, uh, pause the video, sorry, and have a look at all the different things that are here and see if you can spot anything that doesn't belong in my natural group. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, so pause the video now and have a little look and a chat with your helper. Do all of these things belong in my natural group of objects? Welcome back, everybody. How did you get on? What's that? Some of these things are not natural. Oh, my gosh. Do you think if I point to them, you could tell me if it was a, do a thumbs up and say natural or a thumbs down and say man-made. Are you ready? Uh, what about these sticks? That's right, they're natural aren't they? We find those in the world around us. Okay, so they were natural. What about this grass? <gasps> natural, fantastic. What about my leaves? Natural, well done. I'm done all right so far. What about this piece of wood? Ah, oh, of course, natural as well because wood comes from tree trunks and that's something that grows in the world around us and we just take the wood from the trees don't we and then use it we don't have to add anything to it or change it in a factory at all okay what about this shell that's right that would be a natural thing as well we would find that on beaches wouldn't we this isn't being made by a person this was part of an animal okay oh i know tissue this is natural isn't it no, so that's in the, oh, of course it's man-made. Tissues don't grow on trees like this, do they? We don't find them in the ground. We don't take them off animals or plants. This has been made by a person in a factory, so that doesn't belong in my group. I'll move that over here. Okay, oh, got another leaf there. What about, oh, I know, what about my foil star? Oh, man-made, of course. In fact, I think this is possibly a type of plastic. So that's been met. Yeah, I think you're right. We wouldn't find this in our natural world, would we? So, no, let's pop that in that pile with the tissue. What about this pine cone? Well done. Natural, fantastic. I've got here, ah, Spider-Man. Wow. What about him? Where does he go? Is he a natural or is he a man-made material? 
part, isn't it? Yeah. He's man-made. He's made from plastic, and we've talked about plastic and how it's made in factories, isn't it, by adding lots of chemicals together. So this is man-made. Okay, I better put that there. So in that case reception, I can, are there anything else here that's plastic that needs to go over there? How many things can you see that are plastic that need to go in the man-made pile? Well done. There are two more things. Here's one. Our compare bears that we use in our maths at school, they're plastic, so they shouldn't be in that pile. And I've got this here, look, my plastic letter. That doesn't belong in the pile either. So let's put it over here. Well, we've only got four more things to check. What's that? You spotted another plastic thing. What, here? No? Here? No? Here? <gasps> You're right. How could I not have seen this? This is a plastic flower pot. Do you know what? I got a bit confused because flowers go in here and they're natural, but the pot it's in itself, well, that's not made. That's made by people. Plastic is made by people in factories, so that needs to go in the man-made pile then. Okay, I've just got three more things. I've got this bulldog clip. I've got a little pot of sand and I've got this foam shape. Do any of those need to go in our man-made pile? Quite hard to see that on the table, sorry. Ah, oh, the foam shape, of course. This isn't a natural material. You wouldn't find this foam growing on a plant or under the ground. You wouldn't take it from a living thing. You couldn't plant a seed and grow some foam, could you? So that's not natural either. What about the metal clip and the sand? Well done. They are both natural, aren't they? Perception. Well done for helping me spot my mistakes there. Now, what I'm going to do now and what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to do the same. I'd like you to go and collect now some natural objects and then come back and join me because we're going to be making a piece of art using natural objects. So remember, you don't want any man-made things. It may be useful to collect lots of bits, and if you're not sure, talk through it with your helper, and then you might find it helpful to put them all on the table and just double check like I did, okay? And remember that definition of what natural means, okay? Is it something that we can dig out from under the ground? Is it something we can plant and grow? Is it something we can take from something that's already alive, like plants or animals and humans, okay? And remember, it's things that in our world naturally okay not made by people so i'm going to pause the video while i get ready to do my art you go and fetch your natural objects and then come back and join me and we'll create something together okay see you shortly bye now hi everybody welcome back how did you get on with your hunt you found lots of natural things where did you find them so lots of the natural things you tend to find outside what a good observation. Well done. Did you find any natural things inside your homes? Yeah, there can be some natural things inside too. You're right. Okay then. So we're going to have a go. I'm going to have a go at making a picture now using my natural objects. And then you can go away and do the same. Are you ready? I'm going to tilt you down so you can see what I'm making. Okay. So I've got my disc here. I'm going to make a picture. And I think what I'm going to make is an animal. Let's see if you can guess what animal I am making. Now this animal it likes to sleep in leaves and somewhere hidden away, curled up in a ball. And this animal also has lots of spikes on its back so I'm gonna crack some little bits of branches oops put them on the back too and I think I think that will be let's do a few more I think you're gonna guess what this animal is this animal likes to eat worms and slugs and Spikes on its back to protect it from danger and from being eaten by things because it can curl up in a little ball when it's scared. Are you ready? I'm going to put a little bit of sand in here as well. Ooh, I like that. Sprinkle that around. Well, that's a good material to use. 
perhaps, or I know, perhaps he's hiding underneath a big tree. That could be my tree on top. I could even hold that there, couldn't I? Okay. All right, then. Oh, actually, it's a bit tricky to see. Let me hold it up for you. Here you go. There's my picture. What do you think it might be, reception? It's a hedgehog. Now, I had to do that quite quickly. I bet you can create some wonderful pictures at home too. So that's your task for today, or your second part of your task, to collect some natural objects and materials, and to make a piece of art using it. And you might want to make more than one. And I've made a loose piece of art here, so that means I can reuse these materials to create a different picture because nothing's stuck down. And you might want to make two or three different pictures, okay? And then also, once I'm done, I can take those things back, can't I, to the environment, so I don't have to keep them forever. Can you take some lovely pictures of the work you create? Thank you so much. Have a great day, reception. Take care now. Bye.